Hey everybody, this is Eric. I am finally back to do another video, and this is a continuation of my wind-powered gas skateboard that I have a video on um, already. So basically, I don't know if you could tell from the last video, but it wasn't very powerful at all. Um, unfortunately, I didn't even show a video of me pushing on it, but to be honest, it was very ineffective at getting me to move without me stepping on the ground. So. I decided before I convert to electric, which is the next plan, I'm going to be using, I think I can get a little more thrust out of a electric motor, maybe even two. Um, I might have room. So I'm going to try that out. But before I switched over, I decided I would do a little bit of semi-quantitative thrust testing. So I powered this thing up. Uh, you can see in the next video. And Okay, so I completed the electric conversion, and it's worse than the gas version. So I swapped out the motor, or the engine with the motor, the gas tank with the battery, and the servo with the ESCs, um, and it is even weaker than with the gas engine. So you can see that it was kind of barely pulling these six bricks, and this floor is even smoother than the one outside, so it's not really even comparable, but it's definitely weaker. You can just tell by the thrust it provides. So the next thing I'm going to try is doubling up with two motors, two props, two batteries, and two ESCs. And we'll see if that does it. This is my new electric build of the wind-powered skateboard. Um, I tried one motor and it really wasn't that powerful, so now I'm at two motors. Basically, I already had the setup where two ESCs were wired in sync, so I decided and I had an extra motor, extra prop, so I just made this nice big L bracket here that just spanned across far enough to hold the two motors apart and bolted it right onto the main square tubing like my last setup. So it was a pretty simple uh, modification. And then I just took out my gas tank and put two lipos and my servo and put my ESCs. So that's it. Um, there's nothing really tricky about what I did. I used like the the uh, additional mounts for the motors to mount the props on the back side instead of the front main shaft. I uh, just used the axe mounts that came with the motor to bolt them into the frame. Um, yeah, this is a trick that I don't know if... I've mentioned before, but for getting these two ESCs to run in sync, I essentially took the, so there's, in the PWM, you've got red, black, and in this case, orange or whatever. So red and black are power ground, and then orange is your signal wire. Um, so I spliced the two PWM cables together with, with the exception of one of the red cables because I didn't want to be powering the receiver with two 5 volts, like two 5 volts. So, essentially, I just took the grounds and grounded them together, and then the signal wires and spliced them together, and then that ends in one signal and one ground that goes into the receiver. So that gets you uh, in sync output of the motors. So let's test it out.
right so I just pretty much maxed out with all 12 bricks on which is pretty good I think my highest with the gas engine was eight either yes six or eight so it's definitely more powerful um, we'll see whether it's gonna actually take me but yeah I think I'm just gonna go ride it you know just gonna just gonna send it so yeah let's do it So some of you might ask why I'm doing push puller props instead of pushing props. And that's mainly for safety reasons. I don't want to be pushing my foot, which often goes behind the tail of the board, into propellers. So that's why they're pulling props. Just so that I can always see them and know that my foot's not going to go into them when I kick. Alright, so I got a bit, a bit of an uphill. We'll see if it'll keep me going. <laughs> Give it a little push. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> 